Rise and shine, boys. Or girls. This is the last major rig update I'll be doing for a long while. Before anything else, I hate to disappoint, but this video will not be going over benchmarks or performance results. That will have to be done separately. I'm waiting on a drive to come in so I can back up my original operating system and repurpose my old computer for other fun things. And then there's the actual benchmarks and comparisons. But for now, meet Jack. The Threadripper. I know it's lame, I couldn't think of anything better. But hey, if I say I turned on Jack this morning, people won't look at me funny anymore. Now that that's out of the way, the build holds two 500GB Samsung 850 EVO drives in RAID 0, one 120GB SSD for Adobe cache files, a 6TB archive drive, and two M.2 SSDs, a 950 Pro and a 960 EVO for the primary boot device. A 1000W EVGA Supernova power supply with custom sleeve cables from CableMod feeds the system, all while being eclipsed by the Corsair Commander Pro. The Commander Pro keeps the Node Pro on a short leash, the two of them feeding my RGB addiction with eight HD RGB fans and seven LED strips. The girthy ASUS ROG Zenith board almost thread ripped my poor Corsair 570X case a new one, that big thing just barely fitting into the chassis. Speaking of big girthy things, turn away kids, this is about to get… graphic. Pushing all the pixels, we have a pair of GTX 1080 Ti Oris Extreme video cards from Gigabyte running in SLI. A slightly above that, we've got 64GB of G-Skill Trident Z RGB RAM running at 3000MHz. Finally, we come to the main brain of the system. The 1950X Ryzen Threadripper CPU from AMD cooled by the NZXT Kraken X62 cooler. As for the panels, you can learn my process in the card up here. The top one is only meant to cover up some of the tubing and cables, though it doesn't do a particularly good job. The panel at the side is for covering up my ghetto radiator mounting that you can learn a little more about in one of my recent vlogs. The 570X is a great case, but I wasn't overly fond of the basement shroud, so I did my own. I place some white paper over the original shroud and under the Corsair Lighting Node Pro LED strips in an attempt to get the lighting as even as possible. Like I said earlier, no benchmarks or performance figures yet, I'm using an operating system that was originally on a KB Lake build, and I'm experiencing some weird lag spikes and random instabilities. So when my SSD comes in, I can finish up this epic project. Not like Ryzen Epic, just Ryzen Threadripper. But it will be epic. Just not... epic. Whoever named these processes would really get along with my 13 year old self. If there are any tests in particular you want done, feel free to let me know and I'll see if I can add it to my Threadripper review, depending on the complexity and the program. And so that's all I have for now, if you hate what I've done with the thing, go ahead and thread rip me a new one in the comments. But otherwise, let me know if you found this build to be… mesmerizing. Feel free to like, dislike, comment, subscribe, share, leave me questions if you got them, thanks for watching, my name is Steven and I am a little dim. Bye bye. There is so much red in here, I'm not a huge fan of red, I don't know why, I just don't really like that color combination. But it matches the theme, so I'm gonna roll with it. I hate to disappoint, but this video- I'm itchy. I'm so itchy. I could not ignore that. <laughs> That's what I get for shaving, like, right before this. 
E. Rise and shine, boys. Or is my face red? I was just scratching my face. I don't know if it's red or not. I mean, everything in here is red. Maybe nobody will notice. I'm waiting on a drive to come in so I can back up my original operating system and repurpose. Re re oh, man. Repurpose. The Commander Pro keeps the Note Pro on a short leash. 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 The girthy Asus ROG Zenith board almost thread ripped my poor Corsair 570X. <laughs> Speaking of big girthy things, turn away kids, this is about to get graphic. <laughs> Pushing all the pixels, we have a pair of GTX 1080 Ti or Oris. Oris, yeah. As for the panels, you can more learn about more learn about the process. Yeah, that's good. Nobody take English from me, because that's bad. I'll see if I can add that to my Threadripper review. Depending on the compl com com complexity. Add it to my Threadripper review. Depending on the oh, complexity. Feel free to let me know, and I'll see if I can add it to my Threadripper review. Threadripper review. Threadripper review. Threadripper review. Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes I try to splice words together, and that's how some of the, the things, like, come into my head, and most of the time, it fails like that. 